is Pawan. Welcome to technofalshub.com. Today we are going to discuss about fixed floating elements. Uh, to talk about it, if you have observed the new Mashable layout, there is a secondary navigation bar over here which stays fixed or floating after we scroll past over it. So not only Mashable, there are many websites like YouTube. If you have observed this navigation bar, this stays fixed after we scroll past over it. I'm very big fan of this fixed position of CSS using which I have created the navigation bar for technofilesup.com so this stays fixed over here this particular uh, navigation bar is very easy since we have to use CSS position is equal to fixed property but uh, for this particular scrolling uh, fixed we need to use jQuery since we need to know when that should be fixed so let's just proceed to the tutorial I have created one sample layout where I have one header and I have content section I have a sidebar section. I want this sidebar to stay fixed after I scroll past over it. So this is a sidebar section. I have, I have to create one ID under this particular sidebar so I'll make it fixed so that I can make it fixed. Instead of disturbing the original sidebar, I'm creating one more ID, one more division. I'll make it fixed. Okay. So I have to create CSS property for it. I have already find one uh, since I have already worked it out. So to show you guys, so instead of creating CSS property for ID I'll use one class so that I can add this class dynamically using jQuery so add or remove dynamically okay so sidebar one dot fixed is a CSS property for it I have to use position is equal to fixed since I want the sidebar to stay fixed at top I want this to be fixed at this particular position so I need to use top as zero pixels and uh, width of this particular fixed window is 318 pixels and background hello okay so the CSS property for it is done I'll just reload this particular page and I'll show you what happens when I assign this particular class to it so if I assign this particular class to this particular sidebar say it stays fixed at top position but I want it to stay fixed only after we scroll past over it for that we need to use jQuery so get the latest jQuery script from Google API's so copy that and paste it so I'll copy it and paste it here okay it's already there so now I need to use JavaScript so I can know when I should attach that class to that particular sidebar so okay I want this script to be executed I'll create a one function in this particular script and I want that particular function to be executed when the document is loaded so I'll use document dot ready and I'll create one function okay <coughs> I have created one function which executes after the document is loaded so initially I need to know the position the top position of this particular sidebar from the position of this sidebar from top so so that after scrolling happens I'll I'll calculate the Y position and if that position is greater than the initial uh, Y position of this particular sidebar then I'll make it fixed otherwise I'll remove fixed okay for example 
I'm at this position and assume that this position position is 20 pixels and if I scroll down I'll calculate this scrolling position now at this point of time it is 20 pixels if it is more than 20 pixels I'll make it fixed otherwise I'll remove it okay that's the concept so let's just proceed to it now I should calculate the sidebar top position okay sidebar top position is equal to I need to use CSS property of it uh, the CSS property of it is sidebar and I need to get the top position of it okay now let me just write it to console so I'll reload this particular page and see in the console okay side bar okay sidebar is not defined I have to use ID for it so it is 110 pixels from top the position of the sidebar is 110 pixels so let's just keep aside we have got one now we need to calculate the scrolling Y position that Y position should be calculated whenever scrolling event happens so we need to create one more function of window and as the scrolling happens I need to use this function okay now I have created one more function inside this initial document load function which which will execute after the scrolling happens so whenever the scrolling happens I'll, cla I'll cla calculate the y position of it where y is equal to uh, this particular window of scroll top okay now I'm calculating uh, the Y position so I'll try to write it to console so let me reload this page again and see as you can see this Y position gets increased so now we are successfully able to calculate the Y position now what I'll do is if y position is greater than the sidebar top position then I need to make it fixed else I need to remove fixed so this is the funda okay now what I need to do is let me calculate if y position is greater than or equals to sidebar top position then I need to make it fixed else I should not make I should remove that fixed property so to add fixed property I need to use add class property for that particular ID so to do that I have to use hash sidebar one dot add class fixed okay similar way I need to use remove class fixed 
so let's just see what happens in the browser see it stays fixed so this is what I wanted to explain it to you guys hope you found it useful